glad it had a happy ending, and he got the um, got the girl in the end. Um, yeah, Kairos. Okay, we'll just we'll do with that. All right, so now we're on here. Hello, Mister. Let's use the shovel. There we go. Dig up Elaine. There she is. Elaine should be safe up in the crow's nest. For now. All right, we're good. We did it. We got our crew. Well, I've got a crew, a map, a ship, and finally got Elaine back. Yes. So let's say we head on to Blood Island to lift the curse and save Elaine. How about it, guys? Let's get moving towards Blood Island. Let's head on out and find our fortune. Guys? This might be more difficult than I first imagined. Part three. Three sheets to the wind. This is in... Now, those... These three parts remind me of the first ah, the part sea. from the first I, game. The sea. They just makes you lazy. glad to be alive. I think that ship is following us. Feel that salty spray. The sunlight sparkling off the bay. What a glorious seafaring day. It's a pirate ship. We've got the outrunner. All right, men. Are you with me? Hey, look, guys, a whale. Where? Where? That ship is gaining on us. Uh, cutthroat Bill, rig the topsail. Is that a right whale? No, no lie. They're boarding us. Crew, help me out here. It is a member of the Cetus suborder, Mr. Shetty, though. I think you're right. Well, well. Rottingham, so it's you. What do you want? than a good toupee. I've come for your map to the fabled blood alarm. Then I'll find the diamond you mentioned. It'll make a fine paper well for my escritoire. Ooh, look! It's breaching! Ooh! Ah! Look, Baldy, I'll never give you that map. I need it to save Elaine. Then I'll have to take it from you by force. That whale must be 30.5 meters. 100 feet and weigh 200 <laughs> metric tons. You know it, girls. In a sword fight, a sharp weave is much more important than a sharp blade. Of course. Everybody knows that, Chrome Dome. Let's get this over with. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. No, 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 no. That's not right at all. What? On the sea, we fight it a little differently. On the sea, all your insults and threats have to rhyme. What? So when I say every enemy I've met I've annihilated, you say... I once found some gold, but it was just electroplated? No. You say, with your breath, I'm sure you're suffocated. Let's try that again, shall we? You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Uh... I'm waiting. I... Uh, I... Oh, crap. Just as I thought. You're an amateur with this world. Give me that map. Here. Take it. That's your map? Yeah. As soon as I throw piloting these waters, it's off to blood alone. Until we meet again, Monsieur Tweebud. Ah, oh, you little... I've got to get that map back or we'll never find Blood Island. Thanks, guys. You were a world of help back there. It was a rousing battle, Captain. Aye, and it reminds me of a song. <laughs> when a band of vicious pirates are sailing out to sea. When you hear a gentle singing. You'll be sure to turn and flee. Oh, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> and behold, probably one of the best parts in the game. <laughs> Men, we've got to recover that map. That pirate will be done for when he falls into our trap. We're a club of tune for rovers. We can sing in every clap. We can even hit the high notes. It's just too bad we're tuned deaf. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. So, everything you say, they're going to try and rhyme with. Let's go defeat that evil pirate. We know he's sure to lose because we know just where to fire it. We're 
even balladeers. A gang of cutthroat mugs. To fight us off, you won't need guns. Just jolly good ear plugs. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Roam the sea. Crew, let's get to work. Our vocation's a thing we love, a thing we'd never shirk. We'll fight you in the harbor, we'll battle you on land. Oh, when you meet singing pirates, there'll be more than you can stand. Oh, that was a good one. No, it wasn't. No time for song, we got to move. The battle will be long, but our courage we will prove. We're a pack of scurvy sea dogs. Have we pity, not a dram. We only roasted garlic. Then sing from the diaphragm. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Less singing, more sailing. When we defeat our wicked foe, his ship he will be bailing. To fight us. You will get a nasty whacking. If you disrespect our singing, we will feed you to a kraken. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. <laughs> Obviously, the last one you have to select is this one. An orange, because nothing rhymes with orange. But, uh, yeah. Roam the sea. I'm getting so sick of you guys and your rhyming. We're ready to set sail, though the cannons need a priming. Troublesome corsairs, and we come to steal your treasures. We would shoot you on the downbeat, but we gotta rest my measures. A pirate I was meant, meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Stop, stop, stop. The brass is what for polish, and the deck is what for mop. You say you're nasty pirates, steaming, thieving, bad bushwhackers. From what I've seen, I tell you, you're not pirates, you're just slackers. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. <laughs> All right, finally, last one. We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. And, um... Well, uh... Door hinge? No, no. Guess the song's over then. Guess so. Okay, back to work. Well, gee, I feel a little guilty now. <laughs> this is my favorite Captain. part. Yes, Mr. McMahon. We were wondering, we were, just what kind of captain you are. What do you mean, Haggis? Well, some captains are men of action. They like to have complete responsibility and control for their ship. Other captains prefer to concentrate more on the thinking aspects of captaining. The captain who's a man of action will undoubtedly have a much more difficult time of defeating other scoundrels of the sea in the fast-paced realm of ship-to-ship -ship combat. The more academic captain will find the other pirate vessels he meets to be less aggressive and therefore far easier and quicker to defeat in combat. I see. So, Captain Threepwood, which type of captain be ye? Well, you know what? This is just a difficulty choosing. Let's go all out. I love a tough sea battle as much as the next captain. Challenging ship combat it is. All right, so... Okay, that guy's having fun on the masts. All right, so um, we, we have weak cannons right now. Look, see the cannons? Take a good look at them. That's what they look like, right? All right, well... Do you guys remember Monkey Island 1, where we had to go, <laughs> where we had to go and uh, fight a bunch of like pirates with swords and like learn the, the comebacks like, oh, you fight like a cow and yeah, you remember all those? It's basically the same exact thing. We have to do that, except now we are learning th uh, insults that rhyme, and this time there's a little ship mini game where we have to upgrade our cannons as well and fight ships. So let's let's just let's just do it. All right, so here's our ship. There's a question mark. That's Captain Rottingham. We don't want to fight him yet. We have to fight all these 
itty bitty pirates first. So how do we fire? Oh, we. It's right click. Okay. Pew. See, it's like a little mini game. Pew. Pew. Oh, come on. Man, he's fast. Pew. There we go. Aww. Oh, come on. Oh my god. The wind changes a lot. Uh. Gotcha. There we go. Boarded a pirate ship can be hazardous to your life. Alright, I've uh I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Alright, so now I have two of these. I need to learn the responses. You're every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. You're as repulsive as a monkey in an negligee. Oh, yeah? Oh, come on. You're ugly. That's the worst insult I've ever heard. That's all, all that I know. You're the ugliest monster ever created. Oh, good. Um. Oh, yeah? Good man, good man. You can't match my witty repartee. Okay, I give up. All right, I, got, I learned two ah, more. I've beaten you. I will let you live if you give me your treasure. Treasure? You wanted treasure? I'm sorry, I'm fresh out. I guess I need more practice with this sword fighting stuff. Indeed. At least I showed him in the high seas combat part. Yes, well, now we're going to do it again. Mm, really not fearsome pirates. So we can actually Who are you? not have to worry about doing the fight ever again. Only for new pirates, so I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. I was just here. How do you... Okay, anyway. Um, you're the ugliest monster ever created. Let's see if we can get a response to this. You're the ugliest monster ever created. I'm shaking. Uh, I'm shaking. Okay, apparently he doesn't know the response to that one. What about this one? You can't match my witty repartee. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. You suck, man. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I look that much like your fiance. I'll hound you night and day. Ah, there's another one. Cool. Oh yeah. Would you like to be buried or cremated? Okay, I give up. All right, learned two more there. Ah. Awesome. I've beaten you. I will let you live if you give me your treasure. Treasure? You wanted treasure? I'm sorry, I'm fresh out. Alright, so we're going to start doing this, and I'm sure you guys know the drill by now. So... Boarded a pirate ship can be hazardous to your life! I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. Oh, yeah? Oh, I guess this is the first one I've won. You win! Give me your treasure. Yeah, grubby bilge swigger. The treasure is yours. We're loaded with booty. All right, so let's talk to McMutton here with the uh, treasure. Haggis? Yes? Could you guys give me a hand with this ship combat stuff? Oh, no, laddie. Wouldn't dream of it. But you wanted to do it on your own. Oh, Haggis. Don't owe Haggis me. We offer our help, and you didn't want it. Don't be that way, Haggis. Help me out just this once, and I'll fix you up with my sister. Not interested. <laughs> she has a full head of hair. Is it her own hair? Did I mention she's good with children? <laughs> <laughs> all right, laddie. I guess we're all in the same boat. And unless we help you out, we'll never make it to Blood Island. Easy ship combat it is. I actually didn't want to do that, but whatever. Uh, Haggis? Yes? I think I'd like full tactical control now. All right, laddie. We'll give you a chance. Hard ship combat it is. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I just didn't mean to do that. There's a way to, to buy better, uh... <sighs> cannons. I just forget how.
Ah, Plundertown Harbor. There we go. Well, well, well. I guess you've learned an important lesson about cheating. I sure have, mister. Golly, I'll never cheat on anyone ever again. Honest, I've got a new business now. And gosh, it's swell. What is it? I'm running guns. Tell me you're lying. I never lie anymore, mister. You've shown me the light. Can I interest you in some shrapnelizing ammunition designed to bring exquisite pain and unreasonable suffering to all your enemies? Sure. I'm a fearsome pirate. Yeah, well, you may be a pirate, but you aren't a fearsome pirate unless your ship is equipped with the latest in offensive weaponry from Bob's Big Four Boomer brand Cannon Incorporated. However, I see that you are a pirate ready to take that first step towards becoming the ultimate fearsome pirate. Today, customer name here, uh, what's your name again? Guybrush Threepwood. Today, Mr. Leapgood, I can offer you the complete line from Bob's Big Boar Boomer Brand Cannon Incorporated. To start with, we have the entry-level model, the Buccaneers Buddy. We also have the following cannon models available. The Ouchmaster, the Homemaker Deluxe, the Pain Giver 2000, Mr. Massacre, and finally, the cannon used by that most fearsome scoundrel, Rene Rottingham himself, the Destructomatic T-47. Dang. So, <laughs> can I interest you in any of these models, mister? Uh, I'll take the Buccaneer Buddy. I'll take the Buccaneer's Buddy. The Buccaneer's Buddy it is. Let me just check my stock. Yep, we got him. You will not be disappointed, my friend. Now, will that be doubloons, jewels? Captured maidens? My ship's hull is full of booty. Well, the amount in your treasure hold is not enough for this model. Oh, it is. Would you take my old cannons as a trade-in? Well, I don't know. They are pretty banged up. Hang on while I check the blue book on them. <laughs> How did you get all these guns? Okay. I'll have my mom install your new cannon Prano. While she's at it, I'll also have her pick up the appropriate amount from your hold and pick up your trade-in. Mom! <laughs> All right, so now we have cannons. Look, they have scopes on them. That's awesome. All right, see, I remember I told you to look at those cannons. So. I'm afraid of getting lead poisoning from the end. I didn't mean to eat it. All right, so now we have a new question mark. Let's go attack him, wherever he is. Ah, there he is. We'll get you. Pow! Pow! Uh oh, I missed. Missed, missed. Pow! <laughs> this reminds me of Sid Meier's Pirates, which is a really good game, by the way. Got him. You better leave now if you value your life. Anyway, this might take me a while, so I might skip a lot of this. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. You win! Give me your treasure. You filthy unwashed thing, you. The treasure is yours. Well, We're loaded with booty. Well, I won that one. He only gave me one response. What a loser. He was less fearsome than the other guy. All right, so let's talk to Kenny here, buy some more cannons. Back again, mister? I'd like to buy some cannons for my pirate ship. I'll take the Ouchmaster. The Ouchmaster it is. Mom! Alright, now we have a cannons with scopes and a little missile there. Alright, cool. Let's take out this ship over here. Ah, there he is. Hey there, buddy. Your life. 
I've come to plunder.